right, settle down, you animals. <laughs> keep it going. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Keep it going for a little while. It's great. you, man. That's no, you. it's everybody. It's everybody. All right, guys, this morning he made huge news by announcing Xbox One backward compatibility and a buttload of games at the Xbox briefing. And now Xbox head honcho Phil Spencer is right here with us himself to go in-depth on all of today's news and answer your, que your questions. Phil, welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks Let's for hear from me. Phil, everybody. Let's go. Yeah. Great to be here. Look at all these people. Yeah. They so if you're watching on the illegal. Xbox One, grab your controller because it's time to vote on what you think the biggest news from today's briefing uh, was. What a tough choice. Yeah. Yeah. Tough so choice. people are uh, actually, you know, a lot of people, they watched the briefing this morning. There was a lot of excitement, right? Mm. Yeah. You were on the stage. You were backstage. What felt like the biggest reaction for you? And then personally, what was your favorite moment? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so the... First, I mean, I mean, the back compat moment was pretty exceptional yeah. because of these people, right? Right, you know. It, but I'll say the thing that that feels the best about that is the the engineering teams back in Redmond that have spent so much time. Kevin LaChapelle, Bill Stowell, so much time to get that right, <laughs> and then to see the fan reaction when that actually popped. Uh, I had a couple of them in the in the auditorium, and it was just amazing. It was just amazing for me personally. Uh, it's Rare's 30th year, yep. and uh, I wanted to wear the Rare t-shirt. 30 years as studio is exceptional. Yeah. Like That's just a, an achievement to have Rare replay, and then Rare gets to announce a brand new IP, yep. a Rare game that they wanted to build from the ground up, a brand new franchise. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. I mean, as a gamer, you can remove yourself from being in charge of literally everything you see in front of us now. As a gamer, that was just an amazing moment as a fan, right? That's right, yeah. I mean, it's from the opening frame of, of Sea of Thieves, when you see it, it felt like I was home in a rare game, yeah. right? When you see that, I thought that was, that was just great. But I mean, the, the show and, and the partners do so much work. You know, seeing Todd Howard on our stage with Fallout after all the work he had to do last night for their own briefing, yeah. and then he comes on and, and shows and makes fun of me a little bit with his <laughs> with the character. Yeah. I don't know why I have intelligence of three. I was noticing my intelligence was three. And only two for it's luck like, as well. <laughs> no, I know. I didn't know what he <laughs> but, it was, but uh, you know, it was it was great. It was great to have Dark Souls. It was great to have Fallout there. See uh, Halo with Bonnie opening our yeah. show. It, it was it was an amazing, amazing show. You announced game preview as well. Why did yeah. you want to bring that to Xbox One? That's a great question. You know, the we've had such great indie support since we announced the ID at Xbox Indie Program. And a lot of the indies, they really uh, foster the feedback directly from the community as they're building a game. So we get the question, how come we won't let that connection that you see on PC come to console? Mm -hmm. uh, press have asked me about this as well. And it was a great opportunity for us to work with some specific partners. I saw David Braben up here, an amazing game with Elite, you know, having Elite Dangerous come to the preview program. DayZ, you know, just a classic game. And uh, it, it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for us. But really just building that connection between studios and, and, and gamers. Right. Right. And speaking of the gamers, as you spoke of, about the, the fine folks behind us that really put the Xbox with the Recore shirts on. I like the, the Recore shirts, shirt. which is amazing. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, look at this. That was there this morning. Uh, but the backward compatibility thing was a total mic drop situation, right? People were really excited about it. And Larry actually had the opportunity to walk uh, through it for us, so take a look at this. I am here with Bill Stilwell from the Xbox platform team. I am really excited about this. Now, people have been waiting a long time for backwards compatibility to come to Xbox One. Guess what, preview members, it is here. Bill, tell us how it's gonna work. Thanks, Larry. Yes, backward compatibility for Xbox One is here. And what we've done is, in order to make this happen, which we didn't think was initially possible, we went ahead and actually built a virtual 360 all ent entirely in software. Mm -hmm. And then we take the three old 360 games, put them in the emulator, and then we run it through emulation. That's really interesting because, I mean, that's based on the original Xbox One architecture where you can kind of do a lot of fancy stuff with the different operating systems. And this is, we're seeing it happen right now. Now, Bill, behind us, I see we've got Borderlands, incredibly popular on Xbox 360, but this is actually running on Xbox One. That's correct. Uh, Borderlands is one of my favorite games and so this is one of the first titles we pulled through and as you can see this is the 360 game right complete and all we did was put it through the emulation program mm -hmm. and now I'm playing it here on my Xbox one and you have access to all your Xbox 360 friends the achievements of the dashboard right you have everything that's right there yeah there is a full guide that's included with every one of the uh, titles that we release and you can access that guide to do matchmaking to do uh, chat and all the things that you would normally do on your 360 
in addition to whatever you have on the Xbox One. And while you're doing that, you could actually snap an app or snap television if you wanted to. Yep, Xbox take a screenshot or Xbox record that will all work. Awesome. And you'll be able to use that as well. All right, Bill, let's talk about achievements. Very important to the Xbox community. How is that gonna work with Xbox 360 achievements? These are still th Xbox 360 achievements. You're still using an Xbox 360 game save, your cloud saves, mm -hmm. carrying across just like it would from console to console. So you're only earning the 360 achievements. You're not able to learn, earn them twice. So if, I, so if I got them earlier, you know, before Xbox One launched or even after, then I've already got them. You've already got them. Now, how is it gonna work with digital titles that maybe I've purchased or the discs that I've got around the house? So for digital titles, we'll just pull those through. So they'll show up in your ready to install queue under My Games and Apps. Mm -hmm. and and then you just install them digitally like you would an Xbox One digital title. Mm -hmm. And for disc games, we actually will now recognize the 360 disc if it's in our catalog. You put it into your Xbox One, we download into your Xbox One hard drive, and then you play the game there as well. Now, this is we're deploying this right now for preview members, so if you're in the preview program, you'll have access to this, but it's gonna be wider deployment later this year, kind of general release. What's, what's the goal for updating you know, more and more titles? Well, when we launch the program, we'll have a limited set for preview now, but when we launch the program in the fall, we'll have over 100 titles already ready to go, mm -hmm. and then we'll do regular updates to the catalog over time until we fill it up. Bill, tell me about the process. Why can't you just you know, enable every game right off the bat? Well, there are some technical restrictions. Because this is just a software version of a 360, we can't do any USB peripherals or use the initial original Kinect. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, all we do is take what we decide are the right games, mm -hmm. put them in through the program, package them, and then we can distribute them to the catalog. And really, the only thing that stops us is getting the legal permissions for things like licenses that may have changed over time or sure. whatever the case may be. Um, we are including the entire first party catalog okay. that, we, that we're able to. And then beyond that, we'll just continue to take in fan favorites, things that are still being played frequently on the 360. We do voting and we'll do polls and we'll just collect from a multiple set of sources what titles should come out next. And so I'm sure people are gonna tell us what games they want. Now this is free. Correct, it is free. There's no charge for this. You're just gonna you're gonna be able to using the games you already have on Xbox 360. Once you guys work and run them through the emulator, I'll be able to download them and away I go. Yep, absolutely. Fantastic. Bill Stillwell from the Xbox Platform team. Bill, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Ah, right, backward compatibility. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna give me Another way to work through my incredible backlog of <laughs> Xbox 360 games. So great. Thank you for that. So, Phil, we're actually hearing that uh, some people are having trouble logging on to Xbox Live. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, we, we've heard, I mean, we announced a few things on stage that we're having people call to action right now, whether it's EA Access, the Gears, uh, Preview Program, you know, people were, were trying to get in, and there was an issue there where I think we've got it resolved now, but I apologize for people who try to log in and we're having a, a short issue. It was really a flood of people coming in, right. which is great to see. Obviously, we strive for 100% uptime all the time, but like I, said, I, think we're, I think we're okay now, but apologies for anybody that tried to log in nice. right after the show yeah. and had an issue. T all DR, your passion is powerful, people. <laughs> your passion is powerful. All right, Phil, I got to ask you a question, man. I, it, we're, we're live, so I'm just going to need you to shoot me straight here. Uh oh. The Ooh. HoloLens demo, just absolute magic. But there had to be one, two, three, maybe even 50 times where you thought at some point, there's no way this is going to work. Right? <laughs> There's no <laughs> way that we're going to pull this off. And it, it, it was beautiful, man. It was. And you know, we actually, the, the, Mo, the team at Mojang, if they've been working on Minecraft, the team in Redmond, it came together fairly late. And it was something that probably wasn't in the show three weeks ago. Whew. And then we saw that experience and it was magical. Yeah. Like it was just something that we knew we just need to give it the time, put it right at the end of the show, having Sax come out and do real time, do the demo, Lydia on stage. I, I, it was great to see that the partnership so early in our relationship with Mojang was yeah. fantastic. Beautiful stuff, man. Yeah, I I, yeah it. it was great. Phil, I need to ask you about Forza because I know around. you love your cars, love you love Forza, and the question I have is, can you get me a test drive in the Forza? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, actually, sorry. Uh, no, it's not, not that. It's <laughs> that. That car coming down from this thing was ridiculous. That was probably my favorite moment of the show, but you know, what did you think of that? And, uh, and what's your, you know, what are you most excited about Forza 6? Well, first I'll say, if people watch the show, I open right underneath that car, <laughs> right. right? So I know it's right above me. And uh, But the car was Jeopardy. beautiful, right? I mean, I, when we started working with Ford, which has been a while ago now, this is the first time I'd actually seen the real model, up, and it, it, was, it was great. You know, the thing they're doing in Forza this year, obviously weather, day, night, great additions. 
24 player multiplayer. I love playing Forza Online, ABCs, that's my multiplayer mode. Uh, getting 24 cars on the track, great accomplishment from turn 10. They deliver every year that studio. Forza Horizon 2 was great last year. Forza Motorsport 6 this year. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna take a lot of my time. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, Phil, you are a legend. Thank you so yeah. much for joining Good us up here. Let's hear it for Phil, everybody, let's go!